Hey YouTube, hey everybody, welcome back to Designs by Bella, and I am your girl Bella. I would love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the little bell, so you can be notified for my new videos. <sighs> Happy Wednesday, y'all. Let's get right into it. This is my tree. This is my main tree. Okay, I I love this tree. I cannot part with it. That is the end of the story. It is old. <laughs> it is lost. Half its flocking. Well, maybe more. Uh, maybe more. It is a Martha Stewart. Uh, I think it's seven feet tall. I have it propped on a box. I'll, I'll show you right now. I have it propped on a box. So it reaches all the way up there. And you... Uh, oh, I already put the tree skirt in. I'm sorry. I thought I didn't put the tree skirt in. Okay, so my tree, my beautiful, beautiful tree. It used to be pre-lit. Uh, all the lights stopped working. I tried cutting them out like a few years ago. That didn't go well. That did not go well at all. Then I, uh, anyways, I, I, I've had this tree for so long. I cannot part with it. What is my theme this year? Well, y'all, well, this is you. where I'm thinking of going in my theme. And then with a little bit of gold. So this is a very beautiful forest green ribbon. But, you know, against the tree, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm going to pair it with this and see how uh, it looks in the... Uh, on the tree. I haven't done it yet. I haven't tried it out. And then I'm obsessed with this ribbon that I'm going to show you. I have an idea for it because I don't have a lot of it. Sorry, let me put these down and I'll show you one more thing. All right, so here's what I want to start with. If you caught Monday's video, you saw the sneak peek. You saw these in the tree. But what I did is I added this ribbon i have a clip here i'm going to add it right here so you can see and right after the clip i'm going to show you where i'm going to put these Hey, my sweet friends. Okay, let's get started on the decorating. I finally got everything organized to start doing this tree. I hope you like what I did on the little boxes. I think they look really, really good now. So I'm starting with my tree topper and I'm using everything I have from years ago. Um, these are some gold picks that I had used in my tree a couple years ago and I had them on hand and I thought why not why not just use what I have so I'm going to try and create a really pretty uh, fanned out tree topper with the berries and the gold picks I uh, put this all together what I like to do is also stand back and assess what I'm doing to see if everything is like cohesive in the right place because you know you want to put things uh, you want to spread your your stuff out so it's not heavier on one side and have or not heavy on the other side so I like to make sure that everything looks really good. Here I'm adding these picks that have little bells on them. And I don't know how many I'm gonna add because we're doing this basically, I'm doing this with you all. So I did add a few of these. These are really nice. I've had these for a while also. The beautiful little bells on these picks and they just look like branches with bells on them. So 
So I finally put the lights on and uh, it helps me when I'm decorating. Oh, my box fell down, but don't worry. I'll, I'll put that back up. It really does help uh, when you decorate your Christmas tree to turn the lights on also, especially when um, you're putting a lot of ribbon on or a lot of ornaments. It helps with the placement. So that's why I turned my tree on. All right, let's get started with the ribbon. As you can see here, I'm using two types of ribbon, the plaid from Hobby Lobby, and this beautiful emerald green is from Michael's, and it's velvet, it's very, very pretty, but I have more of the plaid than I do of the velvet. All right, let me tell you my designer trick. When I, I always layer my ribbons. I, my main ribbons, I always layer them. And what I do is I will uh, position the plaid to one side, one loop, one side. I will position one loop on one side and um, the plaid on one side and the forest green on the other side and then my next loop will be opposite because that gives it like texture and interest. All right, I'm starting to play with some ornaments to see where we're going with this because this is something new to me. I haven't really done this style of Christmas tree. So, you know, I'm I'm also doing it l basically live with you all because I didn't program what I was going to do. I had a vague idea, but not not much. And I'm really loving the ribbon. I I'm really really loving how the ribbon is turning out on the tree. Now, if my tree was more flocked, the green ribbon would show up much more. I should have used gold or red, but um, it's okay. I'm going to keep the green ribbon this year, and maybe next year I'll use something with a lot, a lot of green. So I am um, doing the same trick with my ribbon. Um, and I'll show you, if you want an in-depth ribbon tutorial, tell me in the comments down below. And I will uh, show you in the next tree much closer. Hey y'all, okay, I'm gonna, st I stopped the uh, fast forwarding because I wanna show you what I'm thinking of doing with this ribbon. So this is gonna be my accent ribbon. I also have another accent ribbon, which is this, okay, this here. I don't know about this yet. I, I'm gonna wait till the end, but I really wanna use this because I love this intricate detail. And what I want to do is fold it like an accordion. Okay, so you're watching what I'm doing? Let me show you. So I'm folding it back and forth like an accordion would be. And I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. I mean, this is going to take forever and a day to do, but I think when it's all said and done, it's going to be very beautiful. Okay. So I have it like that right now, you see it. So then I'm gonna undo it. And so you can see the, the little dents in it, the little pleats. And then I'm gonna curve it. Okay, you gotta be really gentle with this. 
So what I'm going to do, okay, so I, I put my accent flower. You're going to see that in a minute. Sorry for my outfit, y'all. I know I probably mentioned it with my voiceover, in, but it's Florida, y'all. <coughs> so what I want to do is take this and put it diagonal. So I want it to go in between my ribbon, my other ribbon, like that. So it gives it interest. Now, I haven't, why am I starting with my ribbon? Because this year, my ribbon is my focal point. My ribbon is my focal point. So that's what I want. Do you see the contrast? Do you see how beautiful that is? Now I'm thinking, once I put the ornaments on, we'll, we'll see. But I like to take this and squish it on the sides like that. I've had this for years. It's from Michaels. I've had it for years and years and years. And I take this and I loop it against the main ribbon. So it gives it a totally 3D dimension and it makes it look really, really interesting. Do you see that up there? I mean, once it's all covered and I get all my, my um, peonies in, these are peonies, snow covered peonies. I want to show them to you. They're from a Michaels. Sorry, y'all, a squirrel. I just looked out the window and I was like, what? Somebody in my car? But no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Anyways, these are a focal point also. I like to fluff them out. I have not cut the stems because you never know what I'm going to do with them in years to come. So I just like to put them in right at the tip and leave them like that. So do you see where I'm going with my theme? It's a very Victorian, very romantic theme. Now, I haven't, I just put one red ornament so far. I have a bin of red ornaments. Let me show you. So here's my bin of red and green and stuff. Then I also have another bin that's got plaid in it. And I'm thinking of putting it in here, but here's my thing. Um, the kitchen tree this year, which you'll see, is a flock tree. And I want it to have a similar feel, but not identical. I want it to have a similar feel, more casual. This is the more over the top, glammy tree. I love the tree topper. Let me, let me just, let me pan up so you could see it again. It looks so good in person. It really, really does. I know that there's a lot of shadows and stuff right now and it's getting late in the evening, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna plug and play with this. Um, I don't know um, when I will be done, <laughs> if I ever get done today. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, what else is going on today? Let me think. I have a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to tell y'all and share with you all and that kind of thing. Um, as I'm doing this, I still have so much decorating to do. I have to do my wall unit. I haven't done anything. I just left it. I just left it. I'm going to, I'm still going to, I'm still debating y'all. I'm still debating. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple more of those ribbons, actually a lot more of those ribbons, this, uh, this accent ribbon, and I do love this. Now that I look at it with the flowers and the plaid and the green, I do love it. And I love the gift boxes. I think the, the triangle, the angle of the gift boxes just looks fantastic. We got a lot of work to do, y'all. We have a lot of work to do. I got gold to put on here. I got, um, you know, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So I'm going to zip it now <laughs> and I'm going to press uh, the camera on and we're going to fast forward through it and I'm going to try and get this done as fast as possible. <laughs>
Here's that trick I was telling you all. This is how I did it. So I knew that every single piece would be the exact same length. I uh, folded it. I measured it and folded it and then cut them into pieces. And here I am doing the little accordion pleats. For me, decorating a Christmas tree is a labor of love. I do it with all my heart. I love it. I love to see the reaction on my family's face when I finish a Christmas tree. And when I finished this one, Angela said, Mom, you always do these super hey intricate... Hey, everybody. As you can tell, it's the second day. I changed. I didn't have time time constricting yesterday, but I did finish the tree and I'm going to take you off the tripod. But before we do that, and uh, before I put the, like I want to just fluff some stuff up. What did you all think of this trick? Did you like this trick? I want to know down in the comment section. Did you like this? Did you enjoy this uh, cute little kind of designer, designer different trick? I thought it was really cute. Okay, speaking of tricks um, and our homes right now, you all know that this tree, let me put this back. You all know that uh, this tree is quite old, right? Quite old. And I've had it in my garage, I've had it in my basement, I've had it in many, many places. Now, I did clean it. I, I tried to clean it as much as possible. I, I vacuumed it when I brought it in. But our homes, especially now in the winter, especially up north, I find that our homes get a little stuffy and musty. So this great company, let me show you. I'm, they're called uh, Puri Vortex. I'm gonna leave all their information linked down below. Um, it is a air filter, but it's a smart air filter system. And I think it's great. It's really, really great. Um, it's, I, I have all their, they, they even give you a place where you can email them if you have any, um, you know, any questions or all about that in the UK and England and here in uh, the US and all that, you can follow them on Facebook and everything. And they're a smart, uh, system. So let me show you, it comes with a, an amazing HEPA filter, y'all. Um, so when you get it, you unbox it and it comes like this and then you, you twist this and your adapter, your cord, this adapter comes in here uh, in a little box. But look at this air filter, y'all. This is a true HEPA filter with the charcoal. And you all know that charcoal is uh, what cleans air amazingly, right? So I'm really, really happy with this. I've had it running for a couple of hours. It has a beautiful timer. It has also um, the different speeds you can put it on. It also has a light and you can have it on for 12 hours, eight hours or four hours. You know, that's really good, right? Like, especially if you're like cooking now that we're all gonna be cooking and baking extra for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is a great addition to our house, to our homes, yes, and to keep our air clean and keep us healthy and all that sort of jazz. Sorry about my shirt. I was out running errands all day today. So let me take you off the tripod and show you the Christmas tree, and I'll be right back. <laughs>
I wanted to show you how the air purifier looked plugged in because I really want you to get a good look at it. And I think it's a really good investment. All right, y'all, that is the end of the video. First of all, I'd like to give a big thank you for uh, Monday's video. You all love that. I, lo I, I, love, I love that gingerbread candy theme. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy this one. Make sure to give it a big giant thumbs up. Like, comment, share, do all the things. You know the things we do. I love it. Now, I have a ton of videos. <gasps> do I ever have videos for you all? Come back on Friday and see me. We are going to keep decorating. I cannot wait to decorate my wall unit here behind me. I have something really special in mind. Fingers crossed it turns out amazing. Have a fantastic Wednesday night or whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody.